So what made me curious to go there to mod to the metal pyramids in Sudan was the fact that they are so little known. I couldn't find much about it during my research, so I decided to make the trip. So the location is about 200 kilometers away from Khartoum, and it's a long drive through the desert. Um, nothing much on the side of the road other than small traditional houses, mud houses, and I was surprised getting closer to the site, seeing these pyramids just coming out of the desert. It was more like a sci-fi scene, like a sci-fi movie set. The pyramids are the burial site for about 30, 40 queens and kings from the Kush era. If I remember correctly, in 1800s when an Italian explorer actually took off the tops of the pyramids, broke, broke the top of the pyramid down to loot, basically loot the treasure. And um, what is known now, that the treasure that he found was taken to German and British museums. One of the most surprising things was that the fact that it was empty. There were no people around, no tourists around, few locals trying to sell some things at the entrance, but otherwise no tourists at all. And I was really surprised by, the, by, by this. Usually in portraits, depends what you want to, to, to portray, but you have, in these particular ones, the two ones that are in the gallery, I tried to look for a little bit, not sad, but not as a joyful expression from the woman, because what she was saying wasn't necessarily happy. And this is what I looked for. I looked to find that expression in her that shows the viewer and that what she was telling me and what we are talking about. With the old man, he actually works around the site giving camel rides. Yes, he complained, he said he could do more, but he was content and he was pleased with his life. And I tried to look for that, not really find that sad, but rather find that content sort of expression on his face. And I hope I captured. Talking with this gentleman, um, he told me he's proud to have the pyramids there. His ancestors are buried there, and at one point he said that he's happy him, his family, and his camel survive from the money he's making there. So he sort of represented the local place, and he was a very interesting character, so that makes, my, that makes this photo one of my favorites. First of all, given the environment and the light, try to capture as much detail as possible in the photograph. Uh, it's different when you have a clear, bright sky, desert sky. So the light is much more difficult to work with. And you have a limited time to, to take your photos. So what I tried is to capture a little bit of depth and get a little bit of detail in the photos, given that it was kind of really late in the day. And I had a little more time to work with in terms of light. And um, this is what I tried first to capture and to give the viewer the feeling that I had when I saw that contrast between the pyramids, the black and the yellow of the, of the sand. I looked for the right angle that gave me that image. So you basically, you walk around it and you look for it and then you, you take the camera and shoot the photo.